hello viewers and subscriber uh, welcome once again uh, my new screencast yeah, it's not the new in screencast it is the uh, different type of uh, uh, how can say how can how can you how can you deploy the your applications uh, application means that your microservice based application or any 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 micro with a lot of microservice application with the with uh, your GUI application, your font and applications, depending how you build and how where you develop your applications. The main idea today, we try try to discuss with you or to share with you one really uh, professionals and one of the technical or most critical. I mean, the most critical and most professional applications. How can you? How can you? Uh, develop how can you start your applications development how can you build your applications and and also the how can you test it and how can you uh, deploy your application into different environments and after the deployment how can you monitor your application into different environments uh, uh, application in different environments these those are the steps uh, uh, which we know you already know that this is the call devops that means uh, that's the questions how in the in the in the real life how we can work together with the development teams and operations teams that's the one of the main idea i try to share with you this is the now this will be the really in most important uh, screencast for those who had experience like development experience like two years three years or five years and even though uh, even though for those who have interest to 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 to, uh, to to develop or to start the careers for the software developments or DevOps engineering that's the most important um, uh, screencast you need to be followed so that means uh, that means there is a really really important uh, devops uh, systems that means we 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 will start uh, from the planning stage to the to the coding and then after the coding we try to build and then we test and we deploy and you operate and the monitoring this that means the whole complete life cycle cycle of the of the developments so if you see uh this type of pictures like uh, like you see the tick picture like we have a development teams uh, for for any any software development it doesn't matter it's software for for front end software and the back end software or, or any 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 applications doesn't matter which type of application you are uh, which platform you are this that doesn't matter the matter is like uh, that we we all you already know the theoretically the waterfall models and then we have agile based development models and this is now is the one of the critical part how how can you optimize or you can uh, you can extend or you can really quickly adjust or uh, efficient developments uh, for you with the resources with the with the DevOps cultures means you have you have some development teams you have an operation team that's that's and then how how the development team work together with the operation teams that's the main idea of the DevOps cultures i mean the and if you think about like this way so it's a development and then and the operation this is the circles so then how can you optimize your uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment this is the right this is the things uh, these points uh, i i like to discuss with you and uh, try to share with you with uh, with really real time applications that's my idea so i will continue from the from the from the theory part and then after the theory part i we will continue the uh, development part and and step by step to further to go on this so so if you see that the developments uh, mm, how can say the life cycle flow of the development so if you have a have a, a clients and then client has some uh, requirements so you make some plans for these developments after the requirement is fixed you can go to the the coding and then this is the coding 
uh, you are a developer is attached with that one and this is the the product owner may be attached with that one the completes the sprint and con and so on so forth and after the you development done you you have also the some 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 repository to store the your source code a version control control system with the other developers and after the your your version is getting ready you build the versions and then after the version building you do the automatic testing and then you do the integration test after the integration test is passed and you deploy the application and then after that it goes to the application in the operators operations and after the monitoring the applications and again this life cycle models like uh, like the, if the something is failing in this state then they, they make the change request to the to the to the plans the uh, what is not doesn't fit with the, the client requirements and the developer did the change again the life cycle was the code coding the plans code builds test integration de integrate deploy operations and monitoring so we see the basically the standard step for the any any software developments life cycles as like the older older world the waterfall models or sprint models this is the things together so it's plan light code this is the development part that's you need to be think and this is the part of the operation that's the call the depths and the operations so development teams and operation team they come closer together and work together to to, to fulfill the end client requirements or to optimize the resources and, and quickly fix the development and quick uh, quick release release life cycle developments that's the idea for this one if if i go to the detailed information so this is the important part for the for the those who have little experience or those who are the beginner to learn really clearly to learn it even though if you are getting the really fresh students to getting jobs then they have interview questions about like that this one so you need to be clearly understand how it is works how it is done and how is the flow works so if you see the pictures like this as a development part like this so development part is a plan it has a code and build and test and after that and then if you have a one development release is getting ready and then you have a rise operation part so that means somehow you need to be uh, you need to be packed or you need to be build your applications and then the application need to be sent to the development the operation team and the operation team will be install uh, the application into the different environments and then after the installation of the different environments that there is a monitoring tools that's the things i need to be discussed with you because of the uh, because the, there is nowadays there's a microservice world so maybe you if you think about one amazon web page or paypal web page there is a, maybe this is a single web page maybe there is 10 or 20 microservices calls so that means in the back end you need to be monitored all the microservices for this the, the screen that i am i am talking about it is generic pictures so that doesn't matter which type of application you try to make microservice application only the API developments or you can combine with the front end and the microservice based applications so for for this case I am really focused on the your microservices uh, applications so if you have a application to build on single page application maybe you need a big well for pay, payments you need it for administrative purposes and then docu documents invoice and then and the, these things so that means all the microservices only using the on the single web applications then we try to i try to 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 to, to clarify or to share with you how it is worked together and how can you manage your all the developments and how can you manage the your operations if you are working this small company that means that as a single developer you are responsible for complete uh, flow or complete life cycle of the software that means you are responsible for the development and then you are also uh, the, um, the responsible for the operation part if you are working the like middle uh, middle size company or big companies and that that's there is a really clear dem demarcation really cl clear dif uh, different teams they will involve there so the development teams and the operation teams but if you are working with the as a fresher or is working with as a small company then you are responsible 
uh, for the development and also the operation part that's why I said already said it is important uh, really clearly understand how the DevOps works how the